The universe is made of both masculine and feminine, yin and yang, chaos and order. These principles govern every aspect of our lives. They are almost like laws that we cannot escape. We must embrace them and align ourselves with these laws in order to see the beauty and the love and have more knowledge and that intuitive guidance that is within all of us, the thing that connects us to others, to the world, to the universe, that makes us feel whole, that makes us feel that we have purpose, that gives us direction and a vision towards the future. Hi, I'm Mitch Ping, philosopher and world traveler, speaker around the world, a world adventurer, Iron Man athlete, and I'm here today to do a book review on The Great Mother, an analysis of the archetype by Eric Newman, a famous analytical psychologist, a student of my very favorite, Carl Jung. In the video, I'm going to explain to you how if we embrace this great mother, if we look for it, if we oh, if we have the courage, if we have the, the masculine courage to face the great mother, we can embrace both sides of life and have more love and fulfillment within our own souls. So what is the great mother? The great mother represents the unconscious. The great mother is knowledge, beauty, fertility, and guidance. Imagine we were all, how fucking crazy is this? Every single one of us, as far as I'm aware, I don't know how many test tube babies there actually are, but as far as I'm aware, every human was once in the womb of their mother or i mean i guess there's people who were like did the surrogacy every every human was once in the womb of a, a great mother wow how crazy is that so i want you to think about your underwater your unconscious and you're kind of floating around you're kind of passive you're not really fully conscious but you're just, it's a beautiful, what a beautiful thing, childbirth, pregnancy. So that's the great mother. The great mother is the protector of the, it, it's almost like it's that barrier around the, the outside world and it's keeping you safe and protected in this beautiful environment to help you to grow. What a great metaphor for our goals and what we're trying to achieve in our lives when we embrace the great mother that is around us and that can be one in many it could be male or female it be close or distance it could be real or it could be virtual so in our heads we could be thinking oh okay i'm reading my book on De Martini. he's mothering me to a degree because he's keeping me in my in a womb of my unconscious and he's guiding me, he's feeding me, he's nourishing me, he's giving me knowledge, he's giving me love so that I can express myself to a higher degree. So it doesn't need to be an actual woman, it doesn't need to be an actual mum, it could be in any form, it could be in books, it could be in person, it could be a friend, it could be a teacher, it could be anything and it's like what's that thing What's your great mother? What's the thing that's protecting you, that womb that's around you, that's allowing you to be in this swimming around in the unconscious and this, this beautiful process of evolution and, and love? Because we are either growing or we're dying. It's a very harsh reality of the world. You know, if there's a tree out in a forest, the tree has to fight for the soil and the tree either gets the soil and grows or it doesn't get the soil and the sunlight and it dies. That's just how things work. When you're grateful for what you have, you get more to be grateful for because when you're grateful, the universe sees that and it's like, oh, they're grateful. I'm going to give more, more energy, more of my energy to you because you're grateful. I know you're going to do well with it. If there's a tree that's, if there's one tree that's dying in a forest, and there's five trees around it that are flourishing and growing and giving life to other animals. But there's this one tree in the middle that's dying. It's not giving any life to any other animals. And it's just, it's just stuck. It's not growing. 
it's not going to get any sunlight. This is like the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. This is Parkinson's law, where it's the trees that are getting the sunlight, they get more sunlight. The trees that are getting the good soil, they get more soil and more water. So it's like we got to know our place and be aware of where we are right now in this moment. And we, I mean, the great thing about humans is we're not trees, we're humans. So I have an affirmation that I, I know who I am. I be who I am. I am like a tree who knows that it's a tree. I just focus on being a tree. I focus on being me. That's what it was. A tree focuses on being a tree. I'm me. I focus on being me, right? How cool is that? So it's like when we focus on being ourselves and express ourselves to our most highest and most dominant form, primals, we get to evolve to the greatest degree and we allow ourselves to adapt to any environment because we're focusing on the process of growth and evolution. We're not trying to get ahead of ourselves. We are constantly in the womb, okay? Once you're out of the actual womb, you're then in the womb of the your family house. When you move to a job or a career, you then get your own house. And then when you become a, an upper level manager, you become, you're in the womb of your community. And then you start traveling interstate, you're in the womb of Australia. You start traveling around the world, you're in the womb of the world. You start, well, you're in the, and then you start exploring space. And now you're in the womb of the universe. So it's like the great mother teaches us that we have the greatest guidance and fertility, love, knowledge, and beauty when we stay within the boundaries that we can operate in. If we try and go too far out, we're in danger. If we kind of push up against the edges and keep checking in with ourselves, that's where we have the most amount of growth is right up against the challenge and support. If we're too supported, if we live in the womb, no, no good. If we constantly growing and absorbing the nourishment and the nutrients that our mother is giving us it sounds really weird though right i'm absorbing i'm absorbing the nutrients of my mother what tit will i suck out of today that will give me nutrients to grow to my most highest and dominant form i mean i love geez liver king's on to something guys i swear i'm natural okay so what else can the great mother teach us what else can you get from this 500 page book it's really not that intimidating the book it's mostly just pictures i love looking at the pictures they're real sexualized they're girls with their legs geez i sound like a real pervert well i of course i am girls with their legs open and they're like boobs are hanging out and uh because it's representing hey this is how we so these ancient tribes they didn't know how they did weren't doing PhDs, writing theses and using their words and on their computer and sending it out to the internet, were they? So they were using, they were like, okay, what's my great mother? What resources do I have access to right now? Oh, I have some clay. Oh, I have a carving tool. Oh, I have a fucking paint for the wall. Okay, cool. I'm going to use that and start expressing my unconscious you know how an artist doesn't really know what they're doing. They just do it because they're being controlled by their unconscious and they're getting out the thing. They're bordering up against what they know and what they don't know. They're right up against that that border. And that's where we can really see our unconscious. So basically, all of these symbols, analyzing these symbols is giving us a demonstration of the evolution of the human brain and the evolution of consciousness, which is like his other book about evolution of and history of consciousness so in these symbols it's all women with their legs spread open and their tits out and some of them even have like carly has like fucking nine tits and like eyes all around her head and all the like all these things going on but what's that telling us now how do we relate that now okay where am i getting my nourishment where am I being fertile right now? What's my challenge that's going to allow me to grow and to have the most amount of knowledge? And what what 
what's my, you know, you set a goal, which is masculine, and then you have to look within yourself, which is the womb, the water, the unconscious, the great mother, and then your intuition is going to whisper something back to you and says, oh, you need to deal with your childhood mother issues, your attachment things. You need to go back and deal with any sort of money and guilt and shame that you have around. You need to go to the gym and start working on your body. There's little things that are whispering to us constantly. But if we're too busy, if we're the little baby that's trying to look out into the outside world, outside of the womb, it's too much for us. We must look within. The great mother teaches us to look within because that's where we are most fertile. That's where the knowledge is. The problem with that, though, is it gets really dangerous. There's a, a mythological story in here where there's a female with, this is like a cat vagina. Did you know a cat vagina is filled with barbs? I learned that the hard way, trust me. And uh, it's really scary, but that's what, the, what a, a myth is about this sexy woman that's very, you know, lustful. Jeez, I'm getting heavy, heavy headed uh, just thinking about it. Anyway, she's got this, vagina that's like all the guys want it right but then they get there and it like fucking eats them alive because they're not ready for that level of great mother so in order to have a a stronger larger more beautiful more knowledgeable womb right in order to have a stronger leader and great mother above us we must also be have the courage and the strength of the masculine in order to compensate for that. All right. It's you see this in our society is fucking like my friend just sent me messy. Oh, I'm going to butcher that. Some soccer player, right. Who's making millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. Is he going to have some average looking, um, uh, unsuccessful in her career, not a good mother, uh, doesn't keep herself fit, um, not spiritually connected, doesn't have a good group of friends. Is is Messi going to be with fucking... Uh, who, if there's any soccer fans, who's the Argentinian player who's like the greatest of all time that just won and he just retired in his last kick? Uh, is that Messi? I don't know. I probably fucked that up. But because he, he is a self-mastered self-actualized individual at least in his physical form and his vocation uh he is attracted the equal and exact opposite to him so by analyzing the archetype of the great mother okay how do i get more of this nourishment and beauty and knowledge in my life well we must man the fuck up it's a paradox because we must man the fuck up and have the courage to go out after our goals and just keep pushing and look within ourselves, go into the fog, go into the darkness, go under the water in order to face that and fucking deal with our shit in order to find the gold, the alchemical saying. And through doing that, we grow more fertile. You know, we, get, we go into a, the shit of our own mind, we grab it out and we throw it on the soil and we start being more fertile. We have more guidance and more beauty and, and more knowledge. So that's what I wanted to say about the great mother. I will finish with this is a, the, the, the greater your ability to access your unconscious, which is the great mother, which is the water, right? The metaphorical water that is, below the surface of your conscious mind, the greater our ability, our strength, our courage to look within ourselves. He who looks within is awakened. That's what Carl Jung says. He who looks outside is dreaming. If we look within ourselves and face that unconscious. That is where our true power lies. That is where we can grow. That's where we have the most amount of love and fulfillment. And that's where we're going to find our purpose, our mission, and who we really are is within ourselves. No one else can tell you who you are. You must look within and face the unconscious, face the great mother, and she will give you nourishment and beauty, knowledge, guidance, and fertility. Thank you for listening. Subscribe.